I, I just want one survivor, that's all. I don't even care who, it doesn't need to be me, but please just give this to me. There's so many people alive. Look at how little Earth there's left. No, no, they all die at once, come on. What's up guys, welcome back to Solar Smash. That game where you have to come up with creative and unique ways of improving 2020. Now, most of which involve destroying the planet. Oh, you see, isn't that so much better? Last episode, we hurled a whole lot of different types of projectiles at the planet, and that was really something else, but I wanted to save the laser for later, because it seems like it gives the player a whole lot of control over what they may or may not want to destroy. And if that's the case, then I'm thinking we could still focus on America. You know, maybe we could go ahead and sever Florida. Uh, that's not really what I was going for. I was thinking more so continental circumcision as opposed to orbital castration. I'm thinking we might only have like two, maybe three days tops before the rest of America realized that Florida got vaporized, so we need to get our story straight. I'm thinking we might want to just hit the rest of the country with the moon. It's nothing personal, but we really need to cover our tracks. <laughs> there we go, that's so much better. Now remember, if anyone else asks, you know, the other side of the planet, this was the result of Kanye getting elected. Even if a little over two billion people are dead, everything is still hunky-dory over here in the Orient. They have no idea what's going on. The moon always disappears. It just rotates to the other side of the planet. Or Piccolo takes it out. You know, the tides have gotten a little weird the last few days, but it's nothing that a giant blue space laser couldn't fix. Do you think we could actually evaporate all of the world's water? It seems to be getting evaporated. Okay, I need to be a little bit more careful. I nicked India there. Bollywood will live on in our hearts. Now, Australia, I know you guys are used to having everything trying to kill you, but I'm gonna try my best not to add giant blue space laser to that list. Let's be extra careful and avoid you pulling a Florida. Hopefully we can get all that reef. There we go, that's looking pretty good. I know what some of you guys are gonna say, okay? You're taking out all these little island nations, you know? What about this place and that place? And I don't exactly have the precision to spare everyone. It's gonna be the major continents or bust, okay? When it comes to the ocean boiling, anything small inside just isn't gonna survive, but I think we might actually be able to pull this off. Oh no, everyone's dead. Who could have guessed that replacing the oceans with lava was bad for people? It seems like no matter how long I blast this laser for, we only get surface damage. So it's really good at taking out oceans and land if you have a grudge against a specific people but don't want to destroy the planet. I want to destroy the planet, okay? It's 2020 everywhere, so we're stepping things up to the bigger, more orange laser. See how much damage you can do. Uh, okay. I may very well be able to cut the planet in half here. Hold on a second. If we go right along my newly created equator, ooh, that's taking out a whole lot of land on either side, but that's definitely cutting in there. I've somehow managed to keep six billion people alive. I have no idea how or where, but I'm gonna do my best to avoid taking out the core. I get the feeling once that goes, then the whole planet is gonna go kaput. I really want to get two floating halves, and if possible, they could just like, float away. We'll make two little half Earths or two flat Earths. That would, oh no, everyone's dead. I can't even make a good 2020 for the Flat Earthers. I can't believe I managed to cut the planet clean in half and there's no one around to see it, except for you guys, but I want to have at least one human left alive. Do you think that's possible? Do you think I could be a little bit safer somehow? Considering most people live around the equator, we might be able to cut the planet in half vertically. 
I don't know if human life has any toll on whether or not the planet keeps on chugging, but fingers crossed we can do things a little bit safer this way. I mean, who would really miss the South Pole? Nobody cares. Yeah, you see, we've already managed to take out half the planet and we only killed 384 million people. Easy peasy. I've also tried really hard to set up this line so that we're running through the Pacific and the Atlantic Ocean. No matter what, we're gonna kill people. It's unavoidable, but I'm thinking if we leave the two most inhabited halves left behind, then maybe that'll help us create two flat Earths. I, I just want one survivor, that's all. I don't even care who, it doesn't need to be me, but please just give this to me. There's so many people alive. Look at how little Earth there's left. No, no, they all die at once, come on. I mean, look at how much we left behind. We got most of Asia and most of Africa. I think at least a little Australia. And then I'm sure, yeah, we got some South America, some North America. Why is it geography isn't a popularity contest? Fine, we'll go ahead and send in the aliens to clean up my mess. I'm still really impressed with that. Being able to cut the planet in half is interesting, and the fact that it doesn't float away or spin apart or anything like that, not sure if I completely believe that. Oh, wait. Are you only going to destroy half the planet? Nope. Nope, even though you shoot one half, you're going to take out both halves. I'm not gonna claim to fully understand what's going on here. I'm really just enjoying the fireworks. Okay, you can go on now, thank you. <laughs> Beautiful. So, the question now is, how are we gonna ramp things up? So I guess there's just some arbitrary amount of punishment that the planet can take. Really, it doesn't have anything to do with human life or whether or not the core gets all messed up. Because last episode, we managed to shoot our way clean through the middle of the planet. I had moons orbiting directly through it, and I'm pretty sure there were still people alive. But if I use the laser, would I then be able to do a little something like this? Just keep it in one place very specifically. We only killed 53 million, uh, 249 million, but we're through. And just like that, you have an easy and convenient tunnel for the people of North America to commute to, oh, what once was Australia. <laughs> I'm really sorry about that, guys. That could not have been more specific. We've still got about 7.5 billion people left to impress, and I'm thinking I want to fill the center of the Earth with alien bombs, if that's possible. Oh, it might be a tight squeeze. I don't know if they're really getting in there or not. Hold on, let's just lean off and then... Oh no, they're good and in there. Yeah, that's the center of the world, all right. Okay, well, give me a second. I've somehow managed to fill the tunnel with alien bombs without anyone noticing. So let's see what happens if I laser just a few of these. Okay. Well, I destroyed my frame rate. Did I destroy the planet as well? Oh yeah. <laughs> it's just a molten rock. Oh, I think I may have actually hollowed it out. It's, oh, it's hard to tell because I can't control anything. Once again, space time gets a little bit wonky when you set off that many explosions, but it looks like we have a nicely cored Earth. Even if everyone on Earth is dead, it's still 2020, so no one should be surprised if a black hole just so happens to open up to see whether or not the planet is hollow. Like, really, the only way of beating 2020 is to ruin time and space, and I'm definitely well on my way. A couple more big explosions, and I get the feeling we're gonna go from a slideshow to a postcard. Uh, I guess the planet isn't hollow. Don't I look foolish? I don't even know what's happening anymore. Like, I'm, I'm not doing that. The first black hole just seems to have ripped open a whole bunch more black holes. 
There's gonna be nothing left. We're not even gonna have a meteorite left to call Earth. Okay, well, you guys just go along your merry way and I'm gonna sit here watching the universe slowly chug by. That crash was so bad that I didn't just have to restart the game or the emulator. I had to restart my whole freaking computer. I don't understand how a mobile game can break that much technology, but we're back once again, and I'm still really stuck on the idea of creating Flat Earth. Like, if we can't cut the planet in half, then maybe I can just skim a little bit off the top? We'll technically be flat somewhere. It's gotta count, right? <laughs> maybe a little off the top and a little off the bottom. You know, it's like I said earlier, no one's gonna miss the poles. If anything, we could just blame it on global warming. It got a little warm up there and everything turned to lava and disappeared. I feel like I'm some kind of interplanetary barber. You know, like Earth just showed up to my shop and asked for a little off the top and 4.6 billion deaths later, I don't think I'm getting a tip. I'm pretty sure we should be able to make this work though. The top is looking great. Now we just need to hopefully get the bottom without screwing anything up. I don't want to get too greedy, but at the same time, I want to make it somewhat flat. It's going to be a very careful balance. <laughs> we're avoiding the equator. We're avoiding the core. You know, all the things that Earth is a big fan of. Hopefully, we just need a couple more seconds. Don't do it to me, Earth. Uh, that's not what I was aiming for. Did I say interplanetary barber? I, I meant interplanetary doctor. Earth just came into my clinic with the real big growth near his south pole, if you know what I mean. I'm gonna do my best to remove it without losing the patient. I'd be so pissed if this little bit is what ruined things for me. Okay, that's not good. We just lost a couple billion- No! What do you mean that little tiny space rock was all that was left to keep Earth together? <laughs> You're gonna be kidding me! I was so close! I just needed to clean things up a little bit and- Oh. Yeah, you see from here it looks great, but when you spin around- Oh, that's not even at all. I should not be in charge of cutting anything. Whether it be hair or tumors. Well then, screw it. No, I got paid to do a job. I might as well actually finish it. I don't think the planet will explode unless I detonate it. No, like if I use a weapon that specifically blows up the world, I, I don't think cutting into it can get much worse than this. <laughs> Fingers crossed. If I can't have a flat earth, then I should at least be able to have a rock disc. I really do feel like an untrained barber because I keep thinking that I can fix it by cutting off just a little bit more. And then after cutting off a little bit more, I take a step back and realize, what the hell happened over here? What, what is this? You're gonna be kidding me. Okay, it looks good from the front. We just won't show them the back. I wonder how good this game's control over time actually is. Like one moon hitting the earth is definitely a tragedy, but what if I spammed moons? Like, so many moons, no regard for human life. We don't care anymore. We want to actually tunnel the whole way through. But before they're done, we reset the planets. <laughs> and for a fraction of a second, we get a new earth full of moons. And of course they have to keep on going. <laughs> Well, there you have it. We just destroyed two worlds with d d a whole lot of moons. I'm not even sure how many moons. I'll tell you right now, that is a good looking hole. It'd be a shame to waste that. Unfortunately, you can't just pitch moons straight through the planet because you have to be able to click on the planet. So if you click the hole, you know, where the planet isn't, then nothing happens. But I'm kind of curious if we can summon Cthulhu inside the Earth. Like, would his little cloud appear in there? Wait, oh, wait, what? What are you doing over here? I, I clicked on the center of the earth. No, don't be hollowing it out even more. Like, I'm clicking right in the middle of the hole. I want him to eat it from the inside out. But no, he just appears on the other side of the planet. Okay. 
Well, I, I guess I'm not gonna tell you no. You can't interrupt your dinner time. I don't even know what he does with giant chunks of planet. It's a real shame that these lasers aren't more precise. Like, you could do so many messed up things with the planet if this didn't take out everyone on the surface. We really need to invest more into R&D of planet coring lasers that leave people intact. That would be great. I just want to see if I can Swiss cheese the world, or turn it into a giant beehive, or an ant's nest, or whatever you want to call it. If you ever needed any evidence that the planet won't blow up unless you intend to blow it up, then there it is. <laughs> it's so cool. I don't know if the developers of this game actually watch any videos on YouTube, but like, I would love to have kind of a sandbox mode or like an infinite mode where you could blast the planet as much as you want, but it doesn't easily get destroyed. You know, the lasers are far more specific. The explosions are more specific. People are, are far hardier. You know, they, they live. So you could cut the planet in half and people would be fine unless you actually got to their land. That kind of stuff would be so cool to see because it's like I said, you could do so many messed up things to the planet and have it not turn into a giant molten rock in space. Cthulhu may be a bit of a party pooper sometimes, but the black holes do want to get opened up in the center of the earth. So I should be able to just click on the inside and hopefully hollow out our work. This could end up being really, really cool if I get this right. It's kinda hard to sculpt with black holes, but no! I'm trying my best here, god damn it! Ah, screw it. As beautiful as this monstrosity is, I think we're just gonna have to feed it to the worms and call it a day. You know, and I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Solar Smash, guys. I don't know if I'm gonna play any more of this. You know, the first episode did really well. It was one of the funniest videos I'd made in a very long time, but I've kind of explored everything now, but it is still being updated. But funny enough, before I started playing this game, they'd introduced three or four new weapons and a bunch of other planets and stuff like that. Once you blow up Earth, you've kind of blown up the best planet. There's no reason to go to others, but if you guys want to see more, as always, be sure to like this video, let me know, and maybe I'll come up with something to do. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.